thought it would. Yeah, it does. It feels beautiful. I dreamt this so much, so clearly, so precisely, and so frequently that it has manifested itself into reality. And that's what we are. That's what I am feeling right now. It's it's a dream come true. Champions have a dream because that's how this whole thing starts. And they have a passion for pursuing that vision of success that they have that will overcome obstacles, get them through the tough times, and carry them to some spectacular performances throughout their career. The dream is critical because that's where it starts. You know, whatever you want to do in life is possible. And that's been something that I've been able to realize firsthand. Uh, the dream ignites the creative process. As soon as it's in place, it's almost like a bomb goes off and all of these things are working towards it. If you have the correct mental picture. The dream establishes the forest, you know, and then we start looking for the trees. Let's you know where we're going. What direction are we headed? You know, that's what the dream gives you. If you take time to realize, you know, what, what your dream is, and, and what you really want in life, no matter what it is, whether it's sports, whether it's in other fields, um, you have to realize that there's always work to do and you want to be the hardest working person in whatever you do and you'll put yourself in position to be successful. Champions have a clear plan for success and for achieving their goals. It's not just a random occurrence where they show up at a game or a swim meet or some other event and just get in there and the talent takes over. They have a plan. What is your individual long-term goal right now as a 16-year-old? What's your long-term goal? To get to the NBA. Is what, do you want to be the best? Yeah. I read somewhere you said you want to be the best defender, best shooter, best pass. What, what do you have to improve on between now and, and the NBA? Um, maybe um, getting stronger. Um, defensively, and I'm um, shooting the ball, shooting the three. As soon as that buzzer sounded, your emotions let loose. Can you describe what you're feeling right now? I set out a goal two years when I came back to bring a championship to the city. I gave everything that I had. I poured my heart, my blood, my sweat, my tears to this game, and... It's like, you know, I want to be an Olympic gold medalist. I want to break a world record, and I want to be a professional athlete. And those goals that I thought about every single day kept me coming week after week and year after year until I was able to accomplish them. Do you think, though, you can still take it to another level, or do you think this is as good as it's going to get for you? Um, well... I like to use one quote that the limitations exist only in our minds and if you start using imagination then your, your possibilities become limitless. So that's, that's kind of a mindset that I have. I, I use my imagination. I, I do see myself um, achieving more. If it, if it was easy, everybody would, everybody would be doing it. There are always going to be ups and downs, but I think it's really how you really you know, get back on your horse. And, keep going forward and I think the biggest thing that, that I've always said is never give up and I, I never have and nobody ever should if they want something bad enough they'll get it they have to work for it yeah it's not gonna be easy but if you want it bad enough they'll do whatever it takes to get there I see it's, it's beautiful people.